The school year is about to begin for students, <coughs> families, and staff all over the state, but some school districts are still having problems with hiring employees. WHO 13 Zach Fisher joins us now. Zach, schools are desperate to fill these openings. Aaron, you're right. Staffing is a needed is needed across the board, rather. And today I talked with the Iowa State Education Association president about why there is a staffing shortage and how districts are working to solve it. As I've traveled around our state, our educators are ready. They're looking forward to this school year, and I know they are going to do the best that they can. But as we stated earlier, there are shortages. The staffing struggles are not just with teachers and districts. It's public school staffing as a whole. Well, right now we're facing uh, an educator crisis, not only the certified teachers that are in the classroom, but our classified individuals as well. Um, districts all across the state are having difficulty finding bus drivers, folks to work in food and nutrition, as well as classroom teachers and the individuals who work one on one with our students. According to the U.S. Bureau of Labor Statistics, employment in the education and health services fields have struggled to get back to pre pandemic levels. The Des Moines Public School District has 45 teacher openings listed on their website, 24 custodial openings, seven transportation related jobs, and 29 positions in food services. Other districts do not have a huge need for hiring teachers, but the staffing concerns remain the same. The Johnston Community School District has six nutritional jobs, one custodial position, 14 associates, and eight bus drivers needed for the upcoming school year. The ISEA says the way teachers are talked about in the state makes it hard to hire staff. Um, we're called sinister teachers. We are being called uh, on what we're using uh, for curriculum in our, in our classrooms, which have been district approved. Um, there is a, a minority narrative occurring across the state where people are actually attacking um, our, our public schools. So the way teachers are talked about in this state and the way they are paid makes it difficult for districts to hire them and keep them on. We'll talk more about a livable wage for teachers in the state coming up in the WHO 13 News at 6. All right, I know you have some interesting statistics. We look forward to that. Thanks, Zach.